guys! Oh, I am so excited to be making this video. It's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to do it for months and I've just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. But here we are. <laughs> My name is Harmony and I love all the bookish things, but I also love outdoorsy things and decor things and all the things. <laughs> so I don't know if people are still doing like this newbie tag, but <laughs> We're just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so we're just gonna hop right into the questions because I will blab if we don't. <laughs> Number one question is why did I start this channel? So like I had said before, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. Um, I actually started a YouTube channel between my 8th and ninth grade year, which was... <laughs> it was over 10 years ago, which is so weird to say. Um, but I started a YouTube channel that summer between those two grades and it was like singing covers of just me singing songs and stuff like that. And it actually went really, really well. I was like super excited. I was getting subscribers and it was awesome and I felt so cool. <laughs> and then freshman year of high school, I went to a football game with my best friend Taylor and <laughs> she was like super popular and I wasn't. And we were sitting with all these people that I didn't know that were her friends and they were like juniors and seniors and I went to go, I don't know, get something to drink or something like that and he he leans over to Taylor and he was like, so that's Harmony, right? And she was like, yeah, and he was like, isn't she that weirdo that posts videos of herself? <laughs> oh no, mind you, this was in 2009 when like YouTube was just becoming popular, like it was just becoming a thing and so it was really weird for people to post videos of themselves doing anything and I was one of those weirdos so I totally let it get to me and I went home that night and I deleted my YouTube channel and I have regretted it ever since <laughs> because I am super multi-passionate and it wasn't just gonna be like singing videos I wanted to do a little bit of everything and it was just it was a very sad day <laughs> so I'm creating this because I love doing videos and I also love reading and I also want new friends or more friends I should say. So some fun and unique things that I could bring to booktube is honestly just I think everybody has something unique to bring to the table because everybody's uniquely made with different interests and like I said I am super multi-passionate so videos would be oh sorry my dogs are crazy <laughs> But my videos would be bookish things and decor things. I also love to go hiking with my husband um, and my dogs. I also love to crochet and sew and do all the things. So this channel will probably be a little bit of everything. <laughs> I'm mostly excited to read. First of all, I think it'll help me like read more because I'm kind of a slow reader but also because I'm really excited to just have new friends and get to know more people because I don't have any friends that read fiction books so I'm really excited to be able to talk to people about the books that I'm reading and not have them like glaze over. <laughs> okay so why do I love reading? Um, probably the same answer as most people, just escapism. Uh, my childhood was really weird and crazy and wild so anytime that I got to just read and escape the world for a while, it was it was just like my haven. And so I just, I love reading. I love being able to escape and let my imagination go crazy and see the world and be a part of the world for a while. And it's just, it's one of my favorite things to do. So the book series that got me interested in reading was Nancy Drew. <laughs> I know everybody's answer is like Harry Potter or, you know, something like that. Oh my gosh, my dogs. But it was Nancy Drew for me. <laughs> like, I was so obsessed with those books that I literally started carrying a flashlight in my purse when I was in, like, elementary school because I wanted to be, like, a detective. <laughs> I honestly, I loved Nancy Drew. I thought she was so classy and so smart and so cool. And my dog is yelling at me for literally no reason. And, yeah, so Nancy Drew. And I also loved the Junie B. Jones series. And... When I got into like middle school, I read the entire Twilight series in like a week and a half. I was so obsessed with those books. So those are what got me into reading. But recently it's been a lot of like the thrillers that have been coming out that have gotten me. So my favorite booktubers, I would ask, do you want to be friends? <laughs> Honestly, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for friends 
and for community and for nice people in my life. Uh, and probably like just how to balance life. Um, the challenges for me would definitely be the fact that I'm a slow reader and um, just balancing like reading and also like spiritual and personal growth because like I had said I've been reading nothing but personal and spiritual growth books for years and I've just gotten back into fiction at the beginning of this year last year and I just would always feel so guilty if I was reading like a fiction book and I was like I could be reading my bible like I could be doing this I could be you know doing some personal growth I could be doing this and I would start to feel so guilty and so I think that's going to be my like biggest challenge here is just being okay with like taking time and being able to read and not feeling bad about it. Not to mention I'm a slow reader so there's also that. I've been reading since forever honestly <laughs> like since I could read basically I've always loved reading. I probably started reading like consistently in like second or third grade with the Junie B. Jones series that my mom would get me and then on to Nancy Drew and I just like I went through those books like it was nobody's business. I loved them so much and I've kind of just been reading ever since honestly up until after high school like I said I stopped reading because I would just feel like I was wasting time which was so dumb and I wish I would not have done that but here we are. Where do I read? Um, everywhere. <laughs> So we have like this massive couch right here that's like, it's like 11 feet long, it's huge. It's bigger than it needs to be. <laughs> but I love reading here. Sometimes my niece will come over who reads like 10 million times more than anybody I know and we'll just sit and read. Otherwise, I like reading in my bed. I love reading outside, but I live in Minnesota and it's December, so that is not an option right now. <laughs> um, but we also are doing a lot of remodeling in our house and we have like this, three season porch that we're hoping to get done by next year so I can read out there like even in the fall time because we have a lake view so it'll just be really nice and magical to be able to sit out there and read. Otherwise I do love reading like in public like I love going to coffee shops and stuff. My dogs are crazy. They're just staring at me. <laughs> that would be a little bit of everything. Like I said I'm a sucker for thrillers, mystery, that kind of stuff. Otherwise I love 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 fantasy i do have to get i do have to be kind of careful when i read fantasy because i will get immersed and not want to come back out <laughs> like i love you know the classic chronicles of narnia i love lord of the rings and the hobbit and that kind of stuff so i love to read a little bit of everything i don't like anything that has to do with like just dark witchcraft that kind of stuff but anything that's like light and airy I do like so I'm not really like picky when it comes to fantasy but I kind of am so I don't know I'll find my vibe <laughs> so my book collection will be coming soon on a video um, we are like I said remodeling so this entire wall that we have right here is all rock and we want to turn it into bookshelves so eventually I will have all of my books up my husband has a lot of books too and I have all my Nancy Drews so that will be coming at some point but it is a work in progress because I also get like two to three books from book of the month every month <laughs> so we'll see what that looks like next year <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining me and watching my newbie tag. I am so excited that I finally got this video made. I've been wanting to do it for so long. So anyway, I hope you guys stick around. It'll be a lot more than just books, but I'll definitely be doing like recent reads and book hauls and reading vlogs and all that kind of stuff. And I'm so excited to be doing it because like I said, ever since that one time in ninth grade, I've been wanting to do videos ever since. That guy from ninth grade, I don't care what you say anymore. But honestly, you guys, I don't really know what to expect because, like I was saying before, I'm like so multi passionate and my aesthetic like changes constantly. I love a little bit of everything. Like, I love cottage core and I also love like classy, like put together, but I also love like emo sometimes and then I love like dark academia and then the next day it's this and it's just like I'm all over the place. I really am. <laughs> so either this channel will help me grow and find out what like my style actually is or 
it'll just continue to be a little bit of everything. Who knows? But anyways, thank you for being here. I hope you stick around and I will see you in my next one. Bye!